All right. <clears throat> we have, uh, what do we have? We have uh, International Workers' Day. <laughs> it's, it's May 1st. Also, we have, we have middle of, um, in the uh, religious holiday, we have uh, Orthodox Easter. So their uh, Good Friday was yesterday, and tomorrow <clears throat> will be uh, uh, Orthodox Easter. So if you're celebrating, uh, happy Orthodox Easter. And uh, for those that, uh, it's funny because we have um, May, <laughs> uh, International Labor Day. And then here in the United States, we have a Labor Day uh, holiday that's going to be falling at the end, of, closer to the end of the year in September. Um, I take vacations then. I, I go to Vegas. And then um, we have a, a Memorial Day weekend uh, at the end of this month. But anyway, um, you know, for those that are celebrating, or, you know, happy, happy. <laughs> and here with um, Clash of Clans, we have a new season, and we have a new troop skin. So we have these starting all over again. May season is here. And I think that's the um, Jungle Warden. So, which is cool. I mean, like, you know, I'm a free-to-play player, so I'm not really big on skins. Um, you know, having to purchase them right away or get to attain them right away. So we just uh, do our regular stuff. We don't have the gold pass or anything. Um, we we are interested in, in the queen skin, uh -huh. and now we can purchase these. So when we get enough gold, I mean um, gems, we're more than happy to to acquire those. That's about it. But right now we're just in the middle um, upgrading. We got our rewards. So we have 10,000 gold and we have 8,000 uh, elixir. So what we're going to do, um, along with the rewards that we acquired <laughs> in the new season, like I said, it's not that big of a deal, but we got our, let's see, we got our rewards. Are we getting anything? Like a statue or anything? No. Just the typical stuff. So we'll just go ahead. We got our book of heroes. Because we do have a book from last time. The last time we used a book, we used it to upgrade our battle machine. So we're working on our uh, 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 builder base. We got him up to town hall level six. Uh, builder level, <laughs> builder hall level six. Uh, we're working on. Oh, we finished it. Um, working on our cannon, and um, and we're gonna be working on our. Our uh, which we upgraded our double cannon. I think we put upgraded both of them, and then we're gonna continue doing the smaller and other other d defenses, of course. So that's working okay. And then we upgraded our battle machine as well. So we're doing pretty good with that. This is right. Let's do a little quick attack. Let's see how well these look. Uh, now that they're upgraded, and then we can continue. Let's see over here. Chill. You're not that, you're not that big. And then we get these guys in the middle. cannon <laughs> over there to the left provide some defense or covering fire I guess you might say and they're gonna work on that uh, flame they got the town hall yeah the uh, builder base hall now they kind of got the middle kind of cleared out okay and we have one cannon to deal with 
on the on the right. Uh oh, they gotta change their focus. They got all the storages and everything else, but they're out of range. That's good. They're gonna get the war machine first. Okay, oh that now they got it. Okay, good. Come on, one more. There we go. Got it. This one's the one's on fire. It's gonna die. There's one that they pretty pretty robust. <laughs> Not too bad. Got a minute, 24 seconds. Got a builder, a uh, camp, and uh, one more. The, uh, with the guard tower, I guess. <laughs> Last one. Trying to get to that wall. And that's it. Okay, about 100%. Oh, not too bad. Okay, so we got that one. Got some loot. Yeah, that's a two. The other opponent, um, 77%, two stars. Okay, so that was done. So let's go back to our main base. Okay, the, um, let me see what's going on. What's happening? Oh. Uh, let's see, uh, what we want to do, you know, you got the, you know, <laughs> this ain't got a, got a new skin, but like I said, I'm not worried about that. What we're concentrating on now is both our bases, both accounts. Uh, we're at Town Hall 11. We're going to go to Town Hall 12. Because the thing of it is, is the upgrade time. It's going to be 14 days. <laughs> That's a lot of time. We'll be on vacation by that time. And we get two bomb, two uh, air uh, traps. We got a big bomb, a spring trap, two spring traps, another inferno, a Tesla, and our war machine uh, factory. I guess <laughs> what is it, what is it called? Oh, workshop. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, everybody wants to get that. Everyone wants to get a town hall twelve on their team. So we're gonna have two of them. But this is the thing. I mean, everybody freaks out on. Uh, donations uh, and everybody do does their strategy different I understand uh, but you, this is the thing you gotta you gotta think I don't know how to explain it but if you follow my videos I rarely use um, my backup troops Hardly. You hardly ever see me using these guys. Uh, reinforcements. Because uh, no matter what your town hall level, you know, re reinforcements are expensive. One, they're expensive. Two, they take time to, uh, uh, you know, heal up, to train. And um, it interferes with whatever else you're doing. You know, somebody says, oh, you know, send me troops. Okay, well, I'm in the middle of a war, or uh, I have to attack to free up space, or you know, I'm I'm trying. Obviously, I'm trying to save up <laughs> resources um, to build my walls or whatever. But okay, now I got to train an extra set of troops so I can give them to my uh, clan mates. Which you know, this is the whole thing. But this is the thing. It's not to me. It's not all that important to have reinforcement troops to attack when you're just farming you know you should have you, your own troops should be more than enough to take care of your farming issues especially if you're attacking dead bases and your your own troops are high, you know at a high level it shouldn't be that necessary to constantly especially as much farming as you're doing you're supposed you should be farming constantly so, but continually to ask for uh, backup troops is, to me, is just, to me, is just a waste. That's just the way I look at it. You should have your reinforcement troops for two, feeling for feeling two purposes. One is defending your base 
and the other one is during war. Especially if you're a Tile Hall 12 and you're dealing out your uh, war machines. Because I know, I'm, I'm assuming that um, war machines are expensive and they take a lot of time to uh, train. And yeah, I really don't see, especially for war machines, I really don't see the, necess the necessary need <laughs> to use those guys for farming. I mean, and this, again, this is just my opinion. Uh, use your resource, your reinforcements uh, for emergencies, for defending your base, and during war. Try to upgrade your own troops, and of course, it's a good idea to have more than one account, so you can use your other account to give each of your accounts troops without having to uh, request them from your clan mates. Like I said, it's you know it's, it's part of the game. It's it's good to get reinforcements, but you want to lessen the burden on your other clan members as much as possible. You gotta you can't be selfish. That's the thing. You gotta you gotta strategize and think. You know, your clan members they can have to take time, take use their resources, um, especially depending on the troops that you're asking for. Because most people they ask for high level troops, but um. Yeah, you can do it. It's there, but you gotta, you gotta, you know, think a little bit. So, you know, the first thing I'm gonna tell people when that if they join my clan is, you know, this, you know, okay, we can, we'll give you troops, but only in emergency situations, defending your base and during war. We're not giving you any. Uh, war machine. That's uh, just. We're in a war situation. Other than that, you need you need a sufficient amount of troops for defending your base. But for farming, you use your own troops. That's you know that's something you should be doing constantly. But you should have the right troops, and they should be uh, leveled up enough, especially if you're going after dead bases. That's should be more sufficient to form your loot uh, without having to constantly give over troops over and over again just for farming. That, that does, to me, is just a waste. Because the, your, your teammates, they're trying to do the same thing. They're trying to farm. They're trying to acquire loot. And um, if they're constantly, you know, they're training their own troops, plus they got to train extra troops to give to, your, to the clan members. But to me, it's not really necessary. Uh, I got this for our, obviously I have two accounts, uh, I really didn't need to re rely on somebody else, but that's just my opinion, but like I said, I, even though I have two accounts, I hardly give each of my accounts re reinforcements, because like I said, it's, it's really not that necessary, you just need them for defending. We're doing war. We're not in a war. <laughs> so it's just defending. If I get attacked and my uh, backup troops are being used, then yeah, I can replace them. But um, as far as farming is concerned, I, I, I rarely use my my uh, re reinforcements in a, in to attack. Even as, like say, you can... You might have just a queen left or something, one troop or something like that, and you need like a three or four storages and you're running out of time. Okay, you can drop your reinforcements to get those last few storages or something like that. You know, stars shouldn't matter. You know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use them just to say, yeah, I can get three stars. But if you want to use them to get to that, those last few storages or, um, or a mine or a pump, uh, something like that. That might be feasible, but I, I, that's hardly the case. What the heck was that? Um, so I would just be more concerned with upgrading your troops and making sure they're strong enough to take care of the majority of your needs <laughs> without having to go to your uh, fellow uh, clan mates and take uh, resources from them. Let's put, uh, that's basically 
um, what my feelings are towards that, especially now that we're going to be moving to uh, Town Hall 12. So we do have enough resources. So let's go ahead. We're going to do, I'm, gonna do, I'm not recording this, but we're going to do this. Let me see this right quick. My clan. And we got a new member. He's, um, he's, he's an interesting uh, member. So you can see here. I think we're just working on. I guess, I guess it's not going to show here. Oh yeah, here it. Uh, one one bomb is here. We're working on um, a sweeper, and I think we're working on another. I think all of our bombs. We got a bomb over here. You can't we barely see him. He's on the other side of the tower, Archer Tower, and I think there's one over here on this side. Yeah, you barely see him, but he's working. So we're just doing some some traps. Um, we got another sweeper. The bottom one has to be done, and that'll be it on on uh, well on our buildings. Got one sweeper going. Got to finish the other sweeper. We just have some mines to do, and of course our walls, but not that many. We should be able to finish everything up in fourteen days. So we're also gonna go ahead and start the town hall on my second account. So, with that being said, let's just go ahead and start this puppy up. We have more than enough. We also have our magic stuff. And uh, get this going. And, um, so, that's it. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey. Okay. So we should have this ready and be ready to. Do. Like I said, you know we have boost builders finish. Well, we don't want to finish now, uh, and that's it. But we'll just wait. You know, we can we, we can wait it out. It's no, it's not that important. And so we're just gonna continue farming and going um, for loot and continually upgrading what we need to upgrade. Now the next thing, our last thing too, is our army. We changed up our army. We have two giants, 11 wall breakers, two wizards, or four healers for the queen. We got 11 Valkyries and we got 11 um, bowlers. I think that's what they are. Yeah, bowlers. Spells the same. And they've been doing pretty good. Let's, uh, let's look at uh, how much time we got. 18 minutes. That's fine. Um, attack lock. <laughs> Okay, uh, we got, um, 500, 600, 600, 7, 7, 5, 6, 9, 6, 4, 5, 5, 5, 7, 6, 7, 5, 5, 8, 9, 8, 8. Oh, here, but we can't, <laughs> we can't replay it. Uh, uh, 1, 400,000. Oh, but that's our, that's with our old army. That's with the uh, miners. And uh, we also had this special event where we had the super, excuse me, super uh, barbarians and super bombers. So now we just simply added more uh, the regular bombers. We can we can continue doing the super stuff, but it's it's all right. I I just do I was just doing it for fun. So let's uh, where's one that was pretty good? This one was pretty good. Nine hundred thousand. Yeah, let's do this one right quick. Where did it go? <laughs> Nine hundred thousand. Oh, here this one. Let's just do this one. Oh, uh, this one's pretty well. See, oh yeah, this one has um pretty good defenses still up. I guess it's because there's so much big of a, so, so much of an amount you just can't pass it up. That's the thing. So we got the king on one side, queen on the other side. Everybody coming to the middle. Drop the hill. Uh, a giant bowler. Valkyries, get our bombers in there, our wall breakers in there to open up the path. Queen's following behind. Put in another heal. 
Drop more bombers. Everybody kind of spreads out. You gotta get a freeze in here somewhere. Another heal. They're slowly walking their way down. There's the freeze. Like I said, it's, it's better idea to get one a base that's sleeping. But you know, sometimes you know that loot is just too good to to, to pass up. They didn't have uh, the eager artillery was there. That helped a lot. So we uh, we are out of our regular troops. We got um, the warden. The warden's gone, and we just have the our queen left. <laughs> we got a lot of buildings to go. Gotta, yeah, I gotta knock out that air defense. So yeah, see in this case I did drop my reserve troops because yeah, you know, we only had the one. Oh, we just lost our queen. Okay. That's a lot of loot. This got a lot of loot. I think we just get 900,000. In this, in this case, it's a good idea to use your re reinforcements because, as you can see, you know, we, <laughs> all of our other troops got killed. So it was good to use them the last, uh, last minute. See, but we got a pretty good haul. 900,078 and uh, 608. So that's not too bad. Got two stars. Okay, so... Um, See if we can compare compare that. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, we're not giving them any troops. Um, what's he gonna? <laughs> he see, t, t, see up here. He says he has. Uh, he has two, let me see, I believe I had it. Yeah, it's something, let's see, what's the name of the other account? He has two accounts. My brother, my brother gave me his account, so now I have two. Okay, great. Then if you have two accounts, then you can get yourself your own troops. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, again, you have two accounts. So that's that. So if he keeps on asking for, I mean, you know, you can ask, obviously when you ask for uh, reserve troops, you can just you can still see the request. But there's no point in um, having them just there. Um, you really don't need them anyway, like I said. So, um, but anyway, yeah, we're gonna. Um, we did that. Oh, what was I going to do? I was going to do... Wait a minute. I was going to do... Uh, attack log. Uh, well, this was five of us. Let's show you the difference. It's not, you know... 500... To me, that's the benchmark. 500,000 more. Obviously, this is a really dead base. <laughs> um, and we're coming in from the top. We got the queen. King down here in the bottom right and everybody's in the middle at the corner bowlers uh like i said uh giants bowlers wall breakers we'll send down put down some valkyries in a minute here they come everybody start going inside the base that's the important thing is to get everybody to get inside so, They make mince me. The wall breakers make mince me. The least uh, weaker wall. So we drop a heal. Rage. Let's 
get the kids. Try to get in there and freeze everybody. Going up on the top, dropping some more uh, boulders, some more Valkyries, and making their way in the center. Some of them are going up on top. Oh, the Valkyries and the boulders. Okay. That happened in mostly the middle and the, and the top. They're just easily work, working their way through. So you might want to do that. You might want to change up your army, your um, farming army. I mean, the miners, the miners work all right. As long as they're leveled up, maxed out. So we lost our stuff at the middle, mostly from the top. Lost our troops in the middle. <laughs> Cause as you can see, they, they, you know, they, they, you, you have to really get lucky. Sometimes you can wipe out a base, sometimes you can't. Cause the defenses are strong enough. Like I said, sometimes that loop, you, you can't be passed up. <laughs> There's too much of it. Here come the rest of the entourage. Just a few left. Two defenses left. Queen's at full health, got all of her healers, that's good. That's it, okay. But the one thing about this army is it's cheap. It's much cheaper than the, let me see, Twitch Ray. I don't know, I don't think we have any. Yeah, we don't have any. But um, the minor army, oh here it is. Uh, Farming Army 1, it costs 402,000 elixir. So the new army costs 241,000 elixir. <laughs> so that's about half. So it, it you know, it's, it's, it's doing uh, what it needs to do at a cheaper cost. So we have more elixir to save up. That's, so that's, that's the thing. That's the good thing. But we are, obviously, we're using more dark. But we have more than enough dark. So, and then when we do attack, in most cases, we get our dark back. So, that's that's important as well. Oops. Uh, so, this attack, we got 400,000. You see, this one, the second one, we got 7,000. Not so much on this one. It's a thousand, one thousand, five thousand, four thousand, six thousand, another seven, 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 three to seven in a row. Eight thousand six four. So we pretty excuse me, so we pretty much get our dark back. So it's you know, this is something to think about if you want to change up uh, and save a few elixir. <laughs> uh, save some more elixir. Um, you can change up your army. You don't have to. I know you don't have to use this army, but you can maybe you know you can just experiment. Uh, try different uh, setups uh, and decide on. Like I said, you're trying to get as much resources as you can at a cheaper price. You know you can use your goblins. I, I you know I just did another video on goblins. So whatever whatever works for you, um, goblins are tricky because yeah you have to get them over those walls or through the walls. <laughs> so you can you either use jump spells. See, jump spells are expensive, so you can use um, wall breakers uh, and get your your goblins in there. But they still need some su support, some like giants or somebody to draw the fire toward them while your goblins are doing their thing. But like I said, whatever works out for you and depending on what town hall level you are uh, you know to me lower levels you use I was using Barch and Barch can work all the way up to pretty much to town hall uh, 8 town hall 9 and then you'd have to switch over especially when you have uh, access to miners because after that it gets really hard Barch gets really hard uh, or you can use the army that I'm using now or, you know, like I said, you can use your goblins or you can make, you know, make up another 
army. But you're just concentrating, like I said, you want to get yeah army strong enough to get in there, get the loot, survive. <laughs> That's the only way they're gonna get the loot if they survive. And uh, being able to get inside the base. It's not a problem if you're if it's just your pumps and mines outside the base, around the wall, outside the walls. You can just attack those, and then that's it. You have to be able to, you know, notice and look to see when the, the pumps and mines are full, and the storages are empty. Then you know everything's in the in the in the um, collectors, and you can just attack those. But if you have storages that are full or half full, you know, you know, plus the town hall, and uh, I I don't think the um, oh yes it does it it holds some um, treasury holds some. Um, so your town hall and your treasury, you want to get those because you know they're going to hold some store, um, some supplies too. And um, your your storages. So if you come across a base, decent amount of loot, but you know there's there's um, loot across the board. And you want to be able to get inside the base and get the loot that's in there. And so you have to have a good enough army that can do that. So something to think about. That's all. Okay, so what we're going to do for last, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and attack. Uh, we're not going to do the boost. That's okay. Let's just use more storages. It's really not necessary. Well, I mean, it's up to you again. Not For me, I, I'm not going to continue using them because, like I said, you're using up resources and trying to save up as much resources as you can to upgrade your base. And like I said, this is why it's important to, to have an army that's strong enough to get the job done uh, at less cost. That's pretty good. It's a live base. I'm getting more trying to... <laughs> it looks like we're getting more Town Hall 11, especially Town Hall 12s, too. That we're in a situation, obviously, that we're upgrading, so. But this is the name of the game. That's all we're going to be doing. We're going to be uh, farming and uh, trying to get enough loot to upgrade our walls before our Town Hall <laughs> changes over. I mean, it's not, you know, it's just a few walls. It's, it's one, even if we don't. Even if um, we get to the point where the, the town all changes over and we still have maybe a couple of walls left, it's all right. It won't be too big, uh, too big of a deal. Because as you can see, there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of bases that are rushed. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I can underst understand it in a sense, but as far as strategy is concerned, it's not a good idea. You want to work on your rush base. If you can find a clan that will accept you, that's fine. But I, I wouldn't even be cons um, considering being in a clan if I had a rush base. I would just sit back, uh, farm like crazy, <laughs> and upgrade my base until uh, before I start looking for a clan. But, you know, to each his own. It's all right. Let's see. This is gonna take a while. It's been it's been a while. But it's been um, searching in the clouds. Have been a while. Here's one. It's, but it's only four hundred thousand. But we do have six hundred gold, so that's all right. It's a dead base, so we might as well go for this one. Let's see. Let's do. Should we come from the bottom or the top? I guess we go for the bottom. The hero's about even, but we'll go from the bottom. So the king's on this side. We'll drop the king over here. Drop the queen over here. There's not too many um, buildings at the bottom, so we'll drop them guys here. That guy here. Drop our wizard. Drop our bomb. Drop our bomb. Not all of them. He's the center. They're not even going. They're <laughs> not even going at him. Get 
Try to save a rage for the queen, just in case we need to heal her up. They're doing pretty good. Nice little spread. I know the bar um, the bowlers are weak. <laughs> they don't live very long. They don't have a lot of health. We got one more bomb, but it's all right. Good user, right? Okay, she, they broke through. Got a cannon, just dropped the, the last wizard tower. Oh, we got two cannons. Got another cannon over here. Got that one cannon. Got one more cannon. Yeah, trying to break through another wall. I can't even see. Can I? No. Too late. Drop, another, drop that one. <laughs> Drop that one um, bar breaker, but it's all right. They got through. Okay, so we got everything. Three stars and all the loot. But like I said, it's a dead base. But, you know, that's what you're looking for. Like I said, you're trying to use your less bang for less bucks. <laughs> or more, I said more bang for less bucks. Let's put it that way. Let's see where we are here. Okay. So that's great. So So we just getting there 8000 8, I mean 8 million. We can get a little bit more and then we'll go ahead we'll get more gold and then we get more gold and elixir. We'll See that's uh we got 2 million gold 800,000 elixir okay getting there and you know all this would be just for walls because in on my this account my main account every all the buildings all the traps everything is upgraded we don't need to spend any resources on any of that all we're doing right now is just working on our walls so we can get more you just keep on farming uh let me start my next train and um Keep on farming, get our resources, and just work on the walls. That's it. 14 days. <laughs> you got 14 days. Okay. Okay, so a little update. Let you guys know what's going on. We're starting our getting into Town Hall 12. Hopefully, we can start getting more members. And going back to war. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. If you're interested, like I said, I do this every now and then. If you're interested in joining, there's our clan information. So if you're looking for a clan and you're a decent player, <laughs> no rush bases, or at least a base, it doesn't have to be maxed out or anything like that, but at least a base that looks decent enough to hold your own during war. And you're working on your base, you know, you're farming, you're trying to upgrade, doing the things that you got to do, which a good, a good, um, player should be doing put it that way so that's that information okay so that's it for for me okay guys uh like i said it's the weekend enjoy your holiday enjoy your weekend wherever you are in the world <laughs> i hope you're doing well on your your clashing like i said it's just tips just not i'm not telling people what to do this is just my strategy and what's working for me and i'm just sharing it that's all okay so thanks for watching. Take care, guys, and we'll see you next time.